Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you all a game between Richard Dreddy and Severely Tata Cobra. Let's start the game with the move E4, C6. We have the Karakan defense. Now D4, D5, Knight to C3, defending the pawn. And adding an attacker on d5. Now d takes e4, knight takes e4, and knight to f6. Now black wants to thread this knight in the center, but Richard plays the move queen to d3, defending his knight with the queen. Now e5. Now black is playing e5 and giving up a completely free pawn because he has. He controls so much space, his both of his bishops are open, so he plays e5. He also wants, after we play d takes e5, queen to a5 check, and he will win the pawn back with the fork. But we play the move, but Richard plays the move, d takes e5, and queen to a5 check, bishop to d2, queen takes e5, and long castles. Now, this nice cannot be ca can be captured two different ways but both of them will be a mistake because if queen takes e4 then rook to e1 pins the queen to the king so after queen takes e1 bishop takes e1 white is completely winning because white has a queen for a rook and a white piece now if knight takes e4 then white can play the amazing move Queen to d8, check. Now it forces the king to play on d8. Now, bishop to g5, check. And if bishop or king to d e8, then rook to d8 is a checkmate. Because the king cannot come up because the bishop controls that square. This is called the opera's mate where the bishop, con bishop protects the rook and the rook delivers the checkmate with the bishop guarding the e7 square. Now, if king to c7, then bishop to d8 is a checkmate. This is called the Reti's game. This was named upon Richard Reti's game. When he played the game and did the fascinating checkmate, it was named after his name, the Reti's mate. Thank you for watching this video.